Welcome to an exciting and emerging world of the Internet of Things, the IoT. To understand the emerging research topics in that field, it would help to understand how the Internet transformed over past years. Indeed, when you hear the word Internet today, do you think of computers and Ethernet cables and all that? Or do the Facebooks and Ebays and LinkedIns come to your mind? A few years back it was the former, but today it is the latter. Clearly, the Internet has undergone an enormous transformation from being technology-driven to being market and opportunity-driven. The decoupling of underlying connectivity technologies from all these wonderful applications able to run on top of it have been a very painful but instrumental shift in unlocking what is now often referred to as the digital or third industrial revolution. We start to observe the very same thing today with the Internet of Things. And while some research is still focused on the underlying connectivity technologies, that is machine-to-machine -machine or M2M technology as we know it, an interesting blend of over-the-top applications of research is emerging which will dominate the IoT research and innovation landscape for years to come. I hope to galvanize the IoT community and synchronize different research and innovation efforts around the globe. For instance, we see a lot of output from the annual EAI conference, IoT 360. Furthermore, I'm launching an IoT massive open online course on Future Learn shortly, so stay tuned. To this end, the scope of these transactions is to publish latest advances in the growing field of the Internet of Things, with the topics of interest being technologies and protocols, architectures and services, applications and use cases, the standardization landscape, as well as experimentation and prototyping. The aims of the transactions are first to attract cutting-edge publications from leading researchers and research groups around the world, second to become a highly cited source of timely research findings in emerging fields of the Internet of Things, and third to limit revision and publication cycles to just a few weeks and therefore significantly increase attractiveness to publish. Indeed, there are no fees for the authors. There is open access to all papers and given our unique crowdsourcing review approach, a very short time to review. But this is not the only unique feature of these transactions. We are the first engineering journal worldwide to feature a completely gender-balanced editorial board. Welcome to the future. So if we forget about the industrial Internet of Things for a moment and focus entirely on the consumers, then the IoT is actually much more present in our lives today than we imagine. Just take your smartphone. Each phone has about 10 to 15 sensors, which we use regularly to navigate our way through our daily routines. Furthermore, the wearable industry is taken off, offering a variety of fitness and well-being apps today. And this personal Internet of Things aura will only grow over time. It will grow into our homes. We see, for instance, smart thermostats offered today, such as by Nest or Hive. And again, the connected home ecosystem will only grow over time. What arguably needs to be done is to improve branding of the IoT, so consumers can associate these sensors and actuators they wear around with themselves with the Internet of Things and the big data capabilities it offers. The IoT is an ideal playing field when it comes to collaboration and knowledge flow between industry and academia. The reason is very simple, entrepreneurs love it, large corporations love it, universities and now even governments love it. The IoT offers just so many possibilities to conduct fundamental research, to innovate and to disrupt markets. An easy recipe here is to have academics understand the language of industry, which is standards and innovation. Simply innovate around the emerging standards landscapes and constantly push the boundaries. The latter is important as industry should perceive academia as thought leaders.